Hey, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions and another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.1.11 or 3.1.11 for those enthused. Uh, terminate automatically a user session after a defined condition. Uh, so it, what does that mean? I don't know. The, the easiest way to really understand what that means is probably let's run through a sample answer and let's talk about it a little bit. So if I was to give a sample answer to this, I might say VPN system access user sessions are terminated after 180 minutes of session idle time per VPN policy within the firewall configuration. Local system idle time is limited to 15 minutes before a session is locked and user access is terminated. You could set that in group policy. You can set it in a couple different places. Uh, the primary defined condition is idle time. Uh, in other words, that's how we determine that we should automatically terminate a user session after you know, the defined condition. The defined condition, condition is the amount of time uh, for which uh, a user has been idle or inactive. So why does this control exist? Well, I think it's pretty important to make sure that a system doesn't just hang out being logged in all the time, right? Someone else could walk up and use it. It might allow for an attacker who gains access to one system to easily jump through to another system. Uh, there are lots of attacks that can happen when you've got a computer that's wide open. Here's another example. Maybe your IT support guy uh, has remote access to the machine but because you've been away for a couple hours, maybe they're logging in at 11 o'clock at night, they can see all your stuff, access CUI, that'd be terrible. Again, when you have an automatic termination of user access into a system like this, it bars someone from really doing a whole lot of harm if for some reason the system's left alone for a long period of time. So good control there, uh, and again, good logical best practices. So hey, if you're trying to get compliant with DFAR's NIST SP800171 or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help self-schedule time in your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, or even learn more about how uh, we can help you with our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. If you love the content we're putting out for you, awesome. Uh, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. They love doing it. It's our great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's gonna have to go through eventually here. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, uh, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know uh, what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. And I'll see you on the next one.